Hey guys, Joshua Peterson here, Peterson Electric. Uh, we did a video for you probably about a month ago. It is June of 2024 right now. Um, this is a video where two months ago, the power, well, six weeks ago, one of the lakes failed on the property. If you're out in Berthoud, Colorado, uh, Millican, you might be United Power, but out here by Campion and Berthoud Loveland, REA is the power provider. Their power was at the end of that pole, way down there with that orange flag. The septic system is over here. And then power was done down this driveway on that building over there a couple decades ago. Uh, this trenched all the way up. We tried three times to try to find that power underground, but we feel that it's gotten nicked a few different spots. Listen, if you want people to trace it, there's a chance it may not work. It's more 51%. You might just want to redo it than 49% trying to fix it. But we tried, it didn't work. So here's the reason why we are trying so hard. This is a metal steel deck and the customer took out the wood. This panel, I'll do a video when I'm done today if I have enough room on my phone is being pulled off. The bus bar is all cracked up and overheated. Um, we sleeved a piece of conduit to this box here. And then we buried this box. Come here, Grace. And that way, it's not that they're gonna be able to re-pull that real easily, but we know where it is that feeds. This is a good line, that's a dead gas line. They did redo the gas. This house um, possibly had a fire. Uh, the time's still good. The house had a fire, we think, 20 years ago. They just moved in. Um, we ended up driving a ground rod. We dug this out, if you saw the other video, it was almost seven foot deep. But we pulled the lines up and put them at two foot. So if there's any issue, again, we're hoping that these conduits protect it. But we put that box because that feeds that power that's okay going down there. And the new line with a two inch and a four aught goes all the way out here. So we just had our trench inspection last Friday. Everything was good, the inspector said. And we brought it right over to here. REA came out and changed the pole in the transformer. Um, I would anticipate if they do something like that, that's a, and, and set that box with a 200 amp breaker. That was about 3,500 to four grand. That's their side. And then there was our side coming up to here to this, okay? So with the tracing and the digging out for that underneath that deck, and then everything we had to put in ground, this isn't a normal job. Uh, yeah, they were pushing with REA and us around 16. So just to keep you guys in mind, um, it was safer for us to retrench that way. There was a water line and utilities, um, but we were very safe and we didn't hit anything. We got our locates. But if you look at the property in general, this house had 200 amps, probably live on 125 if you ask me, but we're refeeding that down there at a 125 and then this up here is a 200. Okay, and so it'll look different once I get all that in the box, but I had to wait for my inspection to bury so I could fill that dirt so I can actually work. That step, he's probably not gonna final this until all the decking's back on, so they're probably gonna have to put all that decking back together. So guys, keep in mind, if you're putting a deck or a shed or anything over the power utilities or any of your utilities, that's not wise. Look at what we're dealing with, because this guy, I don't know, back in the early 90s welded all this, it's amazing. I don't know how many times I hit that with my Kubota just trying to dig it out. It didn't move. But keep in mind that it's so permanent. Look at the issue it caused. Um, yeah, and my gut on it, he probably knew his lights were flickering and moved out. Who knows? But anyways, guys, this is kind of one of those difficult jobs. You get about one of these a year on the trenching, and it was just easier to have that pole upgraded from a 10 kVA transformer to a 25 kVA because it was feeding the customer over there already. And so... We asked him to put a pole this much closer, but to, dr to drill it and go overhead was another couple grand. I don't know why. They still replaced the pole and they still had to use their auger to dig the hole. Whatever. So um, 
that's what it kind of ended up being a 190 foot trench. So, thanks for joining us, guys. We'll keep you posted.